Welcome to the channel. Today we're comparing like lens and to see how it looks depending on what films we use. And we're shooting color and black and white. On the color film, we're going to be shooting Kodak Gold 200 and uh, black and white uh, Kodak Tri-X 400. And we have here a lens that was made in 2000 and it's in a spherical Summicron. And this Summicron right here is the first one made and it was made in 1960. So we're going to try to compare coatings and see how they look. I'm thinking the, the first generation one's going to look really good with black and white and then the newer uh, 2000 a spherical is probably going to look good with color. Um, have a lot more saturation with it. Uh, but yeah, today we're in uh, Nakameguro and uh, we have the Meguro uh, River right here with all the cherry blossoms. And there are a lot of people here. The train's going by. Uh, it's a little loud. We're right next to the train station. Uh, but we're going to try to get some pictures and show you guys how these two lenses compare. It feels a little weird to have two Leicas on me right now, but we're doing this as a test, so. I don't, know, I don't really need this much. I use a Nikon F3 on my regular days off. After testing these two Summicrons, I noticed that there wasn't uh, all that big a difference between the first generation Summicron and the spherical Summicron. I feel like there might be a little bit more saturation, uh, contrast, and sharpness uh, wide open with the spherical, but overall it, they're, they're pretty much identical. I really couldn't tell a difference on a computer screen. Um, you would probably see a lot bigger difference if it was printed out, something big. Um, but if you're just getting regular lab scans and you're seeing it on a screen or something that's as big as an A4 paper, you probably won't see any difference at all. We just finished shooting color film and right now we're loading Tri-X 400 into our cameras. We were shooting the color and the nice bright light to bring out the saturation of the colors. And now that the sun's going down, we'll be able to use um, F2, F2.8 to see how it looks wide open and compare both lenses. with color film out on a nice sunny day you're more paying attention to certain colors you're 
your thinking process is a lot different than taking black and white. So we have black and white in here, so we're looking more at light and shadow and composition because there isn't color to rely on. Um, so when you change up your film like that, your mind switches up. biggest difference comes in when you're shooting black and white. Um, and I noticed that black and white had the most difference within the shadows. Um, the spherical simicron was a little bit darker in the shadows um, because of how much contrast it has uh, from the multi-coat. And the first generation one, it, it was pretty balanced overall for black and white, which some people think is pleasing. Some people like contrasty black and white photos, um, but it's really um, up to you on how you like your photo. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We'll be releasing new content in the future. Thank you.